there, drivers and new drivers. This is Kevin Barrett, Cypress Truck Line YouTube guy. Coming to you today live from the Hueytown, Alabama CTC Training Center. Let y'all see what this uh, looks like here. The guy behind me there is doing a straight back. That's their alley docking backing pad. They back into the cones and pull up back up toward the building. And they cut it in the cones. Then on this side is their straight back, straight back lane. They pull all the way up there. They got a line on the ground up there where he's at. They just back it straight up into them cones. Try not to knock none of them over. There he is, he's cutting it around into the cones. I'm cutting it too sharp. To see what he's doing. Pay attention, Barrett. A little too long there. He's coming on the coast there. Right there, he broke the plane on that side. You want to keep those wheels as close to that cone on that side as you can. Now you got to pull up. Killed Kenny. Kenny's dead. How many Kennys did he kill on this side? No, just the one. Shit, the wrong dude. Yeah, they got a pretty good backing pad out here. Nice and wide open. see right there the tire marks on the ground usually I tell them follow that tire marking you can see where he made that turn way too wide going into that spot and his tire marks were way beyond the uh, cones on the right side him from this side got a better see how he lines up with the hole a lot more room on the right side go with what dust storm there you go at that point right there you can see that he's already missed the hole he's already too wide we we'll either have to cut it really sharp which looks like he's going to try to do the empty you can pull that maneuver off. Loaded you wouldn't pull that maneuver off. You'd have to pull up and then get a little around. bit wider. A little tighter cut in before you start and then follow it through. 
See that point, he's just too wide for that hole. He's gonna have to pull up. Either reset or... Doing offset also, a straight back and offset. That's why they got the two cones. Pull up, back into that one from that angle there. And that's your straight back lane there. This is the, I'm standing at the back end of it. All the way down there, the other end of the driveway where them cones are, where they start. All the way over here, they got line painted on the ground with cones set up. Kind of gets in our way of, well, we got to pull in the gate though. Drop our trailer. This is the other side of our yard. This is where we this is used to be a dress to drop yard for us, but then they put the school in. Mainly we get a vinyl fence out of here. So I'm getting a load of that headed back to Jacksonville. See from here all the way back. Pretty simple course here at this school. All right, I'm gonna uh, drop this trailer off my truck. Here, right my air line, my electric line, my red line, my blue line. the handle away from the truck. I'm losing my headset. Set that on the trailer so I don't drop it on the ground. Find the seasickness right here. Uh, I'm rocking back and forth to run the landing gear down. Run the landing gear down about a half inch off the ground. Bring it down till it touches. Bring it off a couple turns. Drop the handle so nobody walks into it. See there? It's not all the way on the ground. There's space. That way I can drop my airbags and uh, ease out from under it. We'll put that in the truck so I don't lose it. Shut my door. As you can see, I'm back in 20111 for this trip because my cruise control went back out in my truck again. Top. Uh, fire up. I 
for those of you that have trained with me, see that I'm wearing my gloves inside the truck, which is a big no-no. Got the, uh, got the, uh, suspension drop. What that's gonna do, that's gonna drop the trailer, dump the airbags in the back of the truck, here, there, and down. It'll actually put the trailer on the ground. See that? It's on the ground. Now I can ease it out. Nice and easy. So it doesn't slam to the ground. I just want to push my parking brake in because I don't have a trailer hook, so I don't need trailer air supply. And I'm just going to ease it out from under the trailer and slam it. Nothing. Reset my parking brake. Roll my window back up so because this is a dusty ass lot. That's built up in my truck. See, I pulled out so easy, and the fifth wheel never even fell forward. It actually fell forward instead of back. That's how easy I dropped it out from underneath it. Easy drop trailer. All right, now that we've dropped our load trailer, we're going to hook back up to our loaded trailer. So, show you a step by step how to hook up. wide trailer so it lines up a little bit different than the 102 wide trailer you gotta let the edge of the tire hang out past the trailer a little bit in a cup holder before I dump it over because <laughs> that would suck Ooh, get my hand out of the picture <laughs> see on a 102 wide trailer when you line up you line your uh, edge of your tire up with the edge of the trailer on a 96 wide trailer you want your tire edge of your tire hanging out past it a little bit as you're lined up we're going to go under here we're going to look look at that like a champ notice i got a spotlight on the back of the truck that points right into the big wheel lights it up that way i don't need a flashlight so i'm lined up with the kingpin and the fifth wheel. You can hear it lifting the trailer up already. 
We'll see if they drop the trailer properly. And it's starting to loosen up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up to the trailer. We're gonna back up till we hear it click. Get out and check again. Make sure that we are all locked up. Put my glove on. Good. So we're gonna now this time we're gonna run the landing gear toward the truck. We're gonna start raising the landing gear up. See how easy that was? I didn't have to fight the landing gear to get it up because this trailer was dropped properly. When I got under the trailer. It lifted the landing gear up, took the pressure off of the landing gear. So that way when I did my tug test, I didn't bend the landing gear. What I should have done was probably give it a couple cranks before I did the tug test when I first got out and checked, but it worked. Locked the handle in place. Make sure my locks, the handle's not fully engaged. Then we're gonna hook our lines back up. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh. Come on, get up there, fat ass. Hook the blue line up. Ooh. Need some new grommets. That grommet stayed up. Well, that would look good. So always check your grommets. They're actually all kind of bad. Uh, hold on. Alright, let's try that again. The grommets look good. <clears throat> Alright. Keep the blue line. Nice new grommet. Center to center. Down, make sure it gets a good seal. Put the power line up. Make sure it snaps into place. That little groove there is right on top of the plug so it don't back back out. Red line center to center. All right. We'll add some air. Do a quick walk around. So now we push in the red line because we have a trailer now. So notice it says not for parking. So anytime you have a trailer hooked up, you want that red knob pushed in because you're that's not a parking brake. Listen for air, checking the lights. Checking the AVI sticker. Where is it at? Make sure our AVI is good. Actually, that trailer is due for an AVI. So this trailer is no good. Two lights out. 
three lights out. Four lights out. All the lights on this side of the trailer are not working. So, technically, this trailer should have been red tagged and never loaded. So I'm gonna turn the uh, light test on and check my brake lights and turn signals. Because I have a bad trailer. Hit that button. It does a does a complete light test on the truck. And trailer. So we got turn signal. Got one brake light. Flashers work. Then it'll activate the brake lights. Brake light. Brake light. So, I'll have to write this trailer up, go to a shop, and get everything fixed. There's the load I'm picking up, load of vinyl fence. That's basically all we got in this yard, a bunch of them. They put one tarp on there because they don't want the load to get dirty. Road debris and stuff to hit the front of the load. I guess they don't care much about the back of the load. But that's pretty much, they just put one tarp on it. While I was in the Jacksonville yard, I was able to get into one of the CTC trucks and uh, one of the freight liners. So here's what the inside of the freight liner looks like. All right. As promised, view of the inside of the CTC truck, one of the automatic freight liners. Uh, there's your shifter. That's the view out the windshield. Uh, and in the back, got your three jump seats. So you riding around. This is the view the China Center gets. So, you got a little charging thing for your phone. Not that you're supposed to have your phone on you. APU operations. Now he's got an APU back in here, too. Well, I could at least mount a TV in there for you guys. Shit. So there you have it, inside of the CTC automatics. Oh, well, there you have it, CTC here in Hueytown, Alabama. Uh, so I said, as usual, like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, get all my videos. And if you do apply for Cypress, and come over here to CTC or Cypress Truck Lines. Tell them YouTube guys sent you. Y'all have a great day. See ya.